my beautiful people on our wedding. Um, today I just want to talk about uh, something very vital and uh, very important. And I go back all of them and make one put here done well so that uh, make we make one have understand what they talk. And today I actually want to talk about uh, something that is very, very questionable. Like is a question from, from me to the anti graft agency called the EFCC. Sometimes I just feel like why be saying uh, most of the time EFCC always um, bringing laws, laws, different laws, different days, different days that will always cripple the youth. And now, I, I, one thing I don't understand is that why is EFCC laws always directed to Yahoo boys? You know, as uh, an anti, uh, anti-crime agency, they should be focused on crime all over the country and uh, whichever department where crime day. But I don't know why they are so focused on the Yahoo boys. Before I continue, I want to say this to everybody categorically that I don't support Yahoo. I don't do Yahoo. I, I don't appreciate it. I don't like it. And I will never, I will never advise anyone to go into fraud. There's no way you can sugarcoat fraud. Fraud is bad. Fraud will destroy your life. It is wrong to dupe people. It is wrong to do whatsoever to get money illegally. Yes, understand this. But I want to say this in regards to what EFC said a few days ago. Because I, somebody tagged me to their Twitter page where they do one of their live program where they talk about uh, EFCC uh, going about arresting or giving 15 years uh, imprisoning landlords who get uh, a Yahoo boys as tenant for the house, giving them 15 years for prison. You know, that matter, I, I call it think I'm, the matter, I think I'm far. First of all, uh, I, I, I don't know who I go even ask these questions. Now, when we talk about Yahoo Boys, when we talk about fraud in general, there are some bankers who are fraudsters. There are some engineers who, who do internet scam as a side hustle. There are bankers who do internet scam as side hustles. There are doctors who do internet scams as side hustle. Now, if you say you want to arrest landlord, they put Yahoo boy for your house. What of those uh, people who have legal jobs, but they are doing fraud, and they stay a particular landlord house? So how do you fish out these people? How will you know that uh, this particular person, like a landlord now, he won't take tenant enter your house, and the person now na bank and they work for UBA, or you be sorry to mention any bank, they work for Suzu Bank, and it's a fraudster. In they do Yahoo. On the side, and he can't send a document to the landlord say, Look at where I'm working. How the landlord go to know say he side house on a Yahoo? So, there are some certain things that uh, EFC could need to think about because I know that the chairman of EFC he has, he has traveled abroad, and by God's grace, me, I have traveled a bit too. And I never see another country we talk this kind of thing. The, the matter, you know, to work with my ear, how come, how come they go say they go arrest landlord? How landlord? What do you think of how landlord? Because I work with they do. Now, another thing again is this. They have to understand this. This people when they push. My father always tell me one word. If you goat doesn't bite, but if you continue pushing the goat to the wall, the goat will bite. Now when they push all these all these boys, not they push them, not they push your boys, not frustrate them. Now I they ask one question from the government the other they say, now if not they if not they lock all these people for prison, lock them for prison, lock them for prison. Okay, they come outside. Which work are they going to do? What's the provision made available? What thing they on ground? Which plan they? Okay, now don't arrest person now. Don't you know don't do any, you know, don't punish them. He don't come outside. What is he going to do? Is should he go back to the laptop or what is he, what is he going to do? Are they a lot of jobs on ground when yeah, a, a, a normal boy, average boy go fit do 
I, do they have such jobs? So these are things that they need to put into consideration before you tight these people in as much as we don't want fraud, we want to eliminate fraud. But I just feel there should be plan B. There should be other plans made on ground for those people. Do you understand? It's quite important. Not be Nigeria do fraud parcel. There are other countries that are very, they are so involved in fraud. In fraud. Now, wait till they talk earlier. Why be all the rule, all the law, everything that they tie Yahoo boys? What of those other people who are who are working legally, who are politicians, who are into fraud? How do you what are you doing about this? These things are these things are very important. You know, in in order to because when they you know it, it get way with the youth day, when they talk about some to business idea against the idea against it. also also educate them, talk about things we could favor them too. Now Politicians, everybody has now politicians. What is their punishment? There is nothing. Nothing. If somebody thief billionaire, they don't they touch them. But if your boy thief one fifty dollar, one hundred fifty dollar, they go go prison. So now that's it. So they have to. I think the the anti graft agency need to sit down, really strategize this whole restructure this whole uh, landlord thing because specifically. That's because rent your house. You don't know what they do. You know if they, you know if they push out, go to wars. What did they do? There are many things where you feel ask tenants where they come look for house because the landlords they are looking for money. So that's it. And for the youth, I want to tell you guys this: there is no way you will sugarcoat fraud. Fraud is not legal. I, if they leave some youth, bless me, to them, they should legalize fraud. No, it's not possible. It's never possible. So now, as a youth, know this today. The EFCC are not joking. God not the days we say EFC go arrest you, and they go to plead by again, uh, you can't do option of fine. You can't come outside. It's not like that anymore. It's tight now. If you if you do Yahoo the cash, you must go to prison. Do you understand? That's how it works now. So if you're listening to me, if you're a Yahoo boy, you understand how it works now. If you do Yahoo. Sometimes I say I will go bail and for you know, yeah yeah uh, EFC not police station when they say they go to bail don't they bail okay they'll give you uh, a, a bail condition you meet up to it and then you go they, they will come out to you first then you go to sign every week you go to sign now as this, as you go to sign they one day they'll tell you say ah they'll give you court paper say alpha court paper don't call they don't, they'll, they'll hold you again can you go court and from court you go prison street so it is important you remove your hand from Yahoo this is why I've advised all the youth. I've been singing this and I don't know how to sing it again. When I may mean, I change my tone or whatsoever, or when I put bars for my voice. I've told you that the, this particular Shopify business I talk about is the only thing that can set you out of poverty. It's the only thing that can give you that financial freedom you are looking for. Instead of, it's just they don't the tie to you too. They the tie to now badly now. It's becoming so difficult. So now, how do you escape that? get into something that is legit i told you that if you now join my platform on this shopify it is something that 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 has worked for a lot of people i've done over 1000 shopify stores for people so come bring 1000 dollars bitcoin or usdt usdt and i will, and i'll set up this whole thing for you that will, i'll give you a trending product that will give you money every single day this is what you need. You don't need to do fraud. Now, they don't they, 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 they frustrate all of them because of fraud. So now, please, I want to beg everyone, come to my DM. Come. This is all you need. Even if you are not in Nigeria, you are abroad, come. You feel they do your own. If, if, if they cash you for fraud for abroad, nine words pass. So come. Get something legit. If they ask now, what do you do for a living? Look, you go see something to point and say, this is what I do for a living. This is a business you've set up for yourself. This is an investment you've set up for yourself. This is what Shopify can do for you. Come and I'll do it for you. I need to work for you. You'll be making as much as 100 to to $300 every day. And there is no other payment you're going to make after the $1,000 payment. So come to my DM. May make I make I just do it. The time will come soon. I won't stop the Shopify thing. So I'll be attending to other things. So please come to my DM. Let us talk. It is time you remove your hand from fraud. It is time you get a side hustle that can change your story. I will stop it here. My name is Remedesi. That is Hans.